Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on creating repeating patterns in Illustrator. This video follows on from the previous video looking at how to create a repeating pattern using a photograph of a texture or a textile in Photoshop and turning that into a repeatable and tileable pattern. The result of that previous video was this image file here and we're going to be using this image to then create a repeating pattern in Illustrator. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that image into my Illustrator file, like so. And we're going to make it a bit smaller so we can work with it on our A4 page here, just keeping those image constraints in there too. So what I want to do with this image is I actually want to turn this into a vector so we can have it as a kind of coloured um, pattern image which we can use as a repeating pattern in our designs. And to do that we're going to be using the image trace tool. Now if you drop an image into Illustrator and select that image, you'll notice there's an image trace option here. And it comes with a series of presets of ways of tracing out our image. And if, for instance, we make a copy and we use the free colors option there, it will then break our image down into a series of vectors based upon whatever sort of preset we set. So the free colors preset We'll split it and pick three of the dominant colors and break the pattern down into those three colors we have. And depending on your image, this can take longer or shorter, depending on how high quality and how many colors are in your image. So mine's just finishing up here, so we should be able to see the result in a second. And there we go. So what it's done is it's basically broken it down into three simple colors and made the shapes a lot smoother and less defined. Now. If you want a bit more control over this process, and I kind of, um, I'm not too happy with the final result because I'd quite like to keep these nice colors we have in our image within our pattern. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go to Window, and we're going to open up the Image Trace window here, and this gives us a lot more options to how to trace out this image. If we click on the color mode, and we open up the Advanced options, we can select the number of colors we want to keep. So let's start with 10, I think, for this. And you can also select how the paths are going to come out, how the corners are coming out. And each of these options will have an effect on how long it will take, but how high quality and how kind of refined the final image will be. So have a play around with these sliders and see what results you can get. For now, I'm just going to keep it as it is, and we're just going to set it to 10 colors on the color mode, and we're going to do a trace on this. And I'm just going to pause the video while this traces out as well. So that image trace is now finished and you can see the final result here. Because of the way of the kind of weave on the pattern we're getting this sort of stripey effect which I don't mind too much and I think for now we're going to keep that as it is. So I'm quite happy with that final result. Now the nice thing with image trace is because it breaks it down into vectors you can also turn it into line work. So if you wanted to we could break this out and turn this into a series of lines instead of fills. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that for another tutorial where we're going to look at using image trace to create simple line drawings. So for now we're just going to keep the image as it is and we're going to start to turn this into a pattern. So very easy to turn this into a pattern because we've already made it a repeatable element in Photoshop. All we need to do is go to our object up here, down to pattern and then to make. And what this would do is it would just make a pattern from our object, which will start to repeat out. And depending on the complexity, this may be a more or less complex process here. And we'll hit OK there. Now, patterns come with a series of options as well. If you want to play around with these, by default, it will just stick to the size of your image you have. But you can play around with the height and the way this pattern is being orientated as well. But because we previously made our image tileable in Photoshop, it will automatically work as a pattern by default in Illustrator. So we've kind of done the hard work in the previous video in making that image tileable, and now it will automatically turn into a pattern as well. So once you're happy with that, we can just click Done up here, and that will save as a pattern up in your swatches menu at the top there. So what we can do then is let's make a new object, and I've already got the pattern selected here. If I start to draw it out, now I think I had the previous one on, so we'll just make sure we've got the new one in. There we go. And you can see as we start to draw that out from our pattern, it will draw out our pattern file there. 
Now the reason it was kind of stretching when I was scaling this is because when I transformed my object before, I made sure I had transform pattern on, so it's stretching the pattern as well. So just make sure when your object transform and scale is on, if you have transform pattern off, it will just scale the object and not the pattern as well. But yeah, from there you can kind of draw out any number of patterns you want. You can have it in different size shapes as well, which we can have this pattern and it will be fully tileable from the way we've drawn it previously as well. So that was a very quick tutorial on making a tileable pattern in Illustrator from an image file. Thank you for watching.